Shalom, shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Basham and Haushai, Basham and Kakodash, the Ba'anas, the Elders, and the Apostles of Great Most One. Shalom to you, brothers, in the highways and the byways, preaching and teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. Now, this is your brother Shapal from the James Jamaica camp. You know, with a quick lesson, which is based upon this article in um, the Jamaica Observer. All right. And this article, <laughs> trust me, man, look, it entitles Jamaica is not experiencing a food shortage, right? Despite the world's, despite the world leaders and international media warning of global food crisis, Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries, Pernell Charles Jr., is not anticipating that Jamaica will be affected in the near future. Look, <laughs> this is what we call dumb dogs. Yeah, I mean, this is what we call, this is what we call these people dead, man. Right, spiritually from the the, the from the brain down, you know, from the tip of the head, you know, to them shoulders, they're dead. You know, I mean, walking zombies, see? All right, there is no look. The food supply chain is being disrupted, man. Right, everything is going sky high. Right, food prices, okay, and when you look around you, the dollar is actually sliding. You know what I mean? There is a pending war in the the West. You know what I mean? Ukraine and Russia is still at it, and those are the two major suppliers of essential um, products, man. You know, see what the world really need, and these are strategic moves by the banking elites, man. Right. This famine is being engineered, man. Right? But here you have, and it, it is evident and it is coming. It's a must because it is the will of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know? And here you have men, you know, who are supposed to be warning our people, you know, basically putting them to sleep and ensuring them that nothing will happen in the near future. Right? Jamaica cannot sustain itself. Right? Jamaica is highly dependent. Right? If anything should be. Like if a war should kick off with Russia and Ukraine full fledged, right? And everybody's going at it, there will not be any shipment of food at your ports. Jamaica cannot sustain itself and I repeat again, man. Alright? Um so let's just go to this article and we'll just get some scriptures. He said, however, considering the consequ considering that the country is susceptible to international shocks, he said the minister the ministry is working on with its other government counterparts in uh, to mitigate any long-term impact. Jamaica is not experiencing a, f a shortage of food at this time. In fact, we are receiving high production and continue to provide support in the sector through production program, production incentives, technology um, support by RADA, Rural Agriculture Development Authority, and international partners like um, FOA, the Food and Drug Agriculture Organization from the United Nations to ensure that uh, domestic crops products remain constant and stable, he told the observer in uh, response to a question on the island's preparedness. Now, you, you, you uh, mentioned that, look, the UK basically, um, the United Nations, you know what I mean, um, Food and Drug Ag um, Agriculture Organization, right? But these men, <laughs> you know what I mean, the same United Nations, when we refer to, right? Little did he know that these men are the same men who is in, who is in cahoots with the, with the, with the um, one, one world government, right? And meaning that you will not hurt, you will not own nothing right um they were saying so what who control the food control the people and that's why we're what we're it is heading right now man right so charles jr pointed out that over the last year domestic food crops and production has increased by 10.4 percent over the last three months agriculture production has improved by the same figure which according to the ministry is a healthy sign 
when asked about the impact of the export bonds on Jamaica, he responded that none of the bonds announced has directly affected Jamaica. <laughs> However, we recognize um, the concern and remain maintaining our vigilance to ensure that any development that may affect us can be responsed respond to effectively and in a timely manner additionally we recognize uh, caricom as a potential buffer to aid in what? securing food supplies uh, should the need arise charles <laughs> All right. So at the same time, the Agriculture Ministry is pursuing a strategy of simulation, uh, sustainable and increased local production by supporting farmers with seeds, fertilizers. What the hell are you going to get fertilizers, man, and seed when all of these, the main supporters of fertilizers and seeds and all of these things, you know what I mean, is now in a, a conflict with other nations and are now, you know what I mean, put in certain restraints on these products right and technology support among other things we are advancing we also advancing research and development on alternative food source to feed and fertilizers for a long term benefit additionally we continue to invest on re Habilitating our farmers, roads, expanding irrigation, providing technology, such and such. Right? So he also revealed that there is a strategic strategic coordination across the ministry sector, uh, such and such. Right? So I just wanted to show you that look, these men are there set up to put you people back to sleep or to run damage control. You know what I mean? Let's just get some scriptures. Alright. Um, first scripture I want to get. Alright. Let's get this off the screen. This is the first scripture I want to get, man. Alright, so this is. Uh, let me just put some color on it. Alright, so this is Jeremiah 5 and verse 12. It said, They have belied. Blighted the Lord. And the word blighted go back to um, deny. Alright. The Lord. Let's get that. Alright. Kahash. Alright. Rooted to be to lie. Right? Untruth. Dishoned. Right? Disappointed. Cringe. Deny. Right? So they, they they deny the Lord and say what? It is not he. Right? Neither shall evil come upon us, neither shall we see sword or famine. Saying. So this is what our people um, basically is saying, man. And need I remind you that we are the children of Israel, man. Right? You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native American Indians, you're from the 12th tribe of Israel, man. You make up the 12th tribe of Israel. Us out here predominantly from the tribe of Benjamin. You know what I mean? The Lord name is Yahweh. Now I'm the Heavenly Father name is Yahweh. And the Lord name as the Son of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh Shaman. All right? So we, 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 <laughs> trust me, man, we, we, we're going to face it. We're going to face it, man. You know, we're going to face it. I'm a tough fuck. Let me get uh, another scripture just to back this up. Um, just to back this one up. Let's get Jeremiah 14 and verse 14. Uh, just get to the point. All right. All right. Let's start of verse 15. I'm a tough fuck. He said, Therefore thus say the Lord, concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and your leaders are like prophets, because what the prophets do? The prophets come and say things before it happen. Right? If the word prophesy even go back to um say before. Right? Right? Speak or sing uh in prediction or simple discourse. See? This is what it means, man. To prophesy. Right? That is speak. Right? By inspiration in prediction or simple discourse. Right? Since so you are predicting that a famine won't come. 
so therefore that makes you a profit a false profit at, the, at, that, at that right so let's say but the thing is that these men don't know the name of the lord man right but yet still they are they take on the role of a prophet right saying things that ought to come right he said there does say the lord right concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name and i send them not yet they say sword and famine shall not be in the land by famine right by the sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed saying so by the same thing that these men decided oh it's not coming that's the same thing a lot that we use man to consume your people you know right this is uh second is just 17 and verse i'm sorry 16 and verse 17 it's a woe is me woe is me who will deliver me in those days i right? said the beginning of sorrow and great mourning the beginning of famine and great deaths the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear the beginning of evils and what shall i do when these evils shall come behold famine plague tribulation and hunger are sent as scourges for amendment so all of these things are sent men sorry as scourges for amendment right but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness sorry nor, nor be always mindful of the scourges since of all of these things were sent to our people is warning but these men will not take it and will not acknowledge all of these things so even a famine pending famine that is upon us they will not acknowledge so there is going to be a famine they will not acknowledge that they are being punished there is the worst will not acknowledge so the lord the is the one who is doing it that that's even far from their mind seeing seeing so let's bring out that point just to show you i'm going to read it again man it's a uh, but for all these verse 20 they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges these are scourges right these are scourges these are punishment sin you know what i mean all right all right so uh, we can go verse 22 all right it says for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine and the others that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy sin so there's a war and there's a famine now this is for these leaders again men as we said these men take up the roles of prophets right leaders right saying things that are to come all right ezekiel 13 O israel thy prophets are like foxes in the desert they have not gone up into the gaps neither made up the edges of the house of israel to stand in the day to stand in the battle of the day of the lord seen read that again man the prophets are like what foxes in the desert man O israel thy prophets are like foxes in the desert man these people are slick cunning right they have not gone up into the gaps neither made up the edges of the house of israel to stand in the day of the battle saying there's a battle coming man there's a spiritual war right and there's a physical one right there's also famine right and great distress right the time of jacob trouble is heading near and your your uh, leaders right your leaders this is what they're saying man right we're not experiencing a food shortage things like these won't, won't happen to them and they're making sure that it will not happen to them they're not telling the people the truth see so they keep on deceiving the people and keep them in a, a, a comforting mind state it's not a time to be comforted man a sword is sharp in according to the scripture it's not a comfortable time so they have not they have seen vanity and lying divination saying the lord said and the lord had not sent them they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word right now let's just get to the points um right uh, there's a point that i wanted to get all right verse 10 so because even be, uh, because even because they have seduced my people saying peace and there was no peace right and one built up a wall low others dubbed it <laughs> with untempered mortar right sin so the untempered mortar is these lies man right <laughs> right you build up a fortress right a wall you know what i mean a, a, a defense you know what i mean 
with untempered uh, mortar, man, which is lies, man. And untempered mortar, if you know anything about that, man, that's something we cannot stick. You know I mean, it's it's useless. You know what I mean? It, it's, you know, it, it's mortar that have no use, man. It, it cannot stick, man. It, your wall will crumble. Basically, that's what it's saying. All right, verse 11. Saying unto them which daub it with untempered mortar, that it shall fall. Right, exactly. It says, and there shall be an overflowed um, shower, and ho ye great hillstone, right, shall fall, right, and shall, and stormy wind shall rent it. Right. So that's the point right here, man. You know, all of this where where where, where people basically you know in a, a state of mind of sleep. You know what I mean? And the only way we are gonna get out of this man, you know, this predicament that we're in, you know, is the Lord how about Shimi Oshai man and acknowledging that look, a famine is coming, destruction, turmoil is coming, right? And we need to see the Lord. You know what I mean? Not Jesus, not Jehovah. We need to see the Lord, man, right? See? So Hope this lesson was edifying. With that one, give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakudash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, brothers, in the highways and the byways, preaching, teaching His word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.